Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of revamping old creations. Um, so we're gonna go back to this ship here. I'm thinking, like, we just do some more, like, interior details, like the bridge. One thing I've noticed with the bridge is there's just some buttons we just can't reach, which I think we need to fix. So what we're gonna do is we, we're gonna keep that helm and, um... Let's, what, I'm, what I want to do here, yeah, let's just, let's bring something like this up. I'm going to get a, get a pivot, and we're essentially going to make those screens and buttons angled, and they're going to be closer. Actually, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it this way instead. Um, yeah, 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 and what we're just going to do, we're going to take those, we're going to cut them, and bring them like this and then rotate them bring them down and then just bring them like this and then paste them in and then we'll just merge that like so and then we're also just filling that wall um and then we'll and what we'll do we'll just get like this is the power right yeah so we will get we'll take this do the same thing this is just to make everything more accessible and make the bridge look cleaner and we'll just make sure that's facing upwards paste it in like so as well and merge that together what's this button for this should be for lights okay that's okay for the lights we're gonna put that in with the with the controls for like the start and then we're gonna put that on the other side and just like that should be good Never mind. It's not high enough. Let's fix that. There we go. Merge that together. Good. And I just realized it's not far enough. It's, it's too far back. Cause we want that. To, we want them to be somewhat the same. All right. There we go. That should be good now. Um. Okay. So that's that. So now what we can just do? Like, what are these gauges for? Um, we might just be able to leave these on the wall, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this this light button and then move that over here, this way. Like it's just this way, everything's accessible. We can like we can actually reach everything that we need to reach. It's not like we have to like get out of the helm just to reach stuff. There we go, and then we'll just fill this in. We're going to get a, num a constant number. We're going to just go down here, stick it in the logic room. We're going to do like 0 0.4 and we might have to adjust that, but we'll see and we're also just going to get the power and send it to those, you know. Okay, that, that's good, that's good. So now we can we can see that, we can see that, turn on the lights, turn on the starter, turn up the throttle. Okay, let's fix that throttle up, but I thought setting the maximum output at the time would actually, um, I thought it would actually make this feel like increase the throttle output, but it doesn't actually. So that was something I thought back then. It doesn't actually work that way though. It's the same as if you just set it at one. Okay. Now we can make a we can probably make a separate area for the dials. Um we could yeah. Um like this is four blocks long. Yeah, 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 we can do that. We'll just put this on the bottom of the control panel on the left of the helm and we'll just slip that up one right in there no hold on right in there all right and then we're just gonna do that this we're just gonna do the same thing with this one and with that just drag this up like so by the way if you want to like um like label stuff like dials and stuff like that like um like most people do in their creations um, just, just press this arrow right here beside the erase tool, it's the select tool, it'll just click on whatever you want to rename or change the properties of, and that'll, that'll, that's how you do that. So that's good, let's just fix this, save it, because we have no idea what's going to happen with the game in the next few minutes, it could crash, but it probably won't. And this should be good, it's working, yep, did I... Did I, why is that not uh, let's let's see that's not working um did i hook it up to power no i didn't okay it's there now 
Oh, they, they lost their connections somehow. So, battery. I think I think when they need that on one, that's from what I've seen. This is distance to sea farm, which... What's that going up to already? No, that's the wrong thing. I think I deleted that. No, I didn't. Okay. Distance sensor. That's going to go to our distance from the seafloor. Fuel is going to go... Where's the fuel tank? In here. Liquid level. And that's the generator output. Okay. Make sure these are hooked up properly. What's the... W and S. Okay. Alright, that's working. What's this? Is this a... Uh, this is a flare launcher. Okay. Um, I'm thinking we have like a specific section for like emergencies. So we'll just do that. Um, let's get a, just a, um, a key button. And then, uh, well, we have to turn our symmetry for that. We'll get a key button and then a lockable button. Well, we'll get two of those just for extra coverage because this is going to be extremely bright. Um, boom, 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 and boom. Do I have any more flare launchers? We'll probably have to get rid of some because of how bright this is going to be. That's probably all we need. I'm not going to launch them because they're never going to despawn if we launch them. And then next thing we're going to do is there, is this an emergency transponder locator? Um, okay. So this is going to be like our emergency actions. Emergency, emergency, yeah, emergency action, and the whole duration is gonna be like not five seconds, but like 2.5 seconds, and then we're just gonna hook this up to electricity, like so. That's all got electricity, good, good. Um, I'm not sure that double lockable button system will work. Okay, so that activates the flares. That should also be activating the transponder. So that worked. Anyways, this is why I didn't want to do it, because you'll see, it doesn't despawn the flares. It just despawns the vehicle. So this is why if you're going to test, please do not, te if you're going to test anything flare related, do not test it in the dock. Um, because you're going to have to deal with this nightmare for a few minutes. And I won't be able to get rid of these. So you'll kind of just have to move them to the side and hope they go away. Like just wait for them to run out. Let's just get these. Oh yeah, and by the way, you can pick these up. Let's just yeet that over there. Oh, we can. If it's on the shore, that's even better. There we go. That's better. What flare did I t did I set those to? So I know I added these when like flares were like a fairly new thing. Elimination smoke. Probably smoke parachute is gonna be what we want. That's just me though. Maybe maybe you should have something else, but. This way, at least, it's not focused more on brightness, it's more on smoke. This way, it's more focused on actually being visible and staying visible. This white, we need those to be red. I didn't change the color on this. Let's change the muzzle velocity to max. Okay, there we go. So that's that set up. Now what I'm thinking we do is like, um, like, it's kind of to describe it. Okay, like it's like a weapon system, but we're gonna have to do that in the next video. Yeah, see you next time.